Imagine a black hole, a terrifyingly dense space object pulling inside everything that comes too close. Nothing can escape its clutches, even a beam of light. And now, imagine two of these space monsters colliding! Scary? <laughs> you bet! Astronomers have spotted two supermassive black holes feasting on the cosmic material of two merging galaxies in distant space. This phenomenon is the closest to colliding black holes we have ever seen. Supermassive black holes are the largest among all black holes out there. Their mass can be hundreds of thousands or even millions to billions of times larger than that of our suns. And two such giants have been recently spotted with the help of an array of telescopes in northern Chile's Atacama Desert. Astronomers originally used these telescopes to watch two merging galaxies located approximately 500 million light years away from Earth. Thanks to being alert at all times, scientists have also noted that two gigantic black holes were growing alongside of each other. Apparently, these black holes came across each other when their host galaxies collided. One of the black holes is around 200 million times the mass of our Sun, and the other is a bit smaller only 125 million times larger. Now, we can't see black holes directly. If you were to travel to a black hole, you wouldn't notice it until it was too late. The only detail that would give away the approaching black hole would be a slight blurring of distant stars due to the hole's gravitational lensing effect. The two black holes we're talking about are no different. They aren't visible directly, but are surrounded by bright clusters of warm glowing gas and stars. All of this has been tugged close by the black hole's gravitational pull. Time will pass, and these black holes will start circling each other. And eventually, they will collide, creating one, probably even bigger, black hole. Scientists have been observing these black holes across multiple wavelengths of light and have come to the conclusion that they are unique. They're located the closest to each other astronomers have ever seen. The distance between them is a mere 750 light years, which, astronomically speaking, is just next door. Even more exciting, this distance is close to the limit of what modern technologies can detect. The thing is, such ginormous merges are more typical for distant galaxies. This makes it harder for Earth-based telescopes to see them. But the sensitivity of ALMA helped astronomers observe those bright and compact regions where matter swirls around the black holes. Imagine how surprised astronomers were when, instead of one black hole, they discovered two of them, munching on the dust and gas stirred up by the massive space merger. Galaxy mergers are way more common in the distant universe than in our neighborhood. And this discovery may mean that such black hole binaries are likely to be much more common than we previously thought, too. And if pairs of black holes are so common, it might make it easier for us to study gravitational waves. These waves, also known as ripples in space-time, occur when black holes collide. If we talk about the recently discovered pair of black holes, it might still take them several hundred million years to crash into each other. But by observing their behavior, Scientists can figure out how many binary black holes there are that are about to collide in the universe. Also, this may give us more insight into what is going to happen when our home Milky Way galaxy collides with the Andromeda galaxy in around 4.5 billion years. By the way, the first photo of a black hole was taken in 2019. An international team of scientists, consisting of more than 200 astronomers, had been working for years to get this result. And their efforts finally paid off. The object in the photo is about 55 light years away from Earth at the center of the galaxy M87. You can now admire this amazing space phenomenon thanks to the work of a vast global network of telescopes called the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration, or simply EHT. The Event Horizon is a point of no return on the outskirts of a black hole. When something, for example, matter, radiation, or light, reaches this boundary, there is no way for it to escape. To capture the very first image of a black hole, scientists created a virtual telescope that turned out as big as our planet by combining the power of eight radio telescopes. 
But it wasn't an easy feat. The researchers had to simultaneously point the telescopes in a meticulously planned order with the help of precise atomic clocks set on each telescope. Plus, they were constantly monitoring the amount of moisture in the air, since too much humidity would ruin the images. To keep the chances of rain to a minimum, they even constructed the telescopes in super dry regions, such as the Atacama Desert in Chile and the South Pole. All in all, the process resembled a carefully coordinated dance. But thanks to these preparations, in over two weeks, the telescopes collected 5,000 trillion bytes of data. It was then processed by several supercomputers, and scientists finally got the long-awaited images. And what they observed was a monster of a black hole measuring about 25 billion miles across. Now, how about we talk about the coolest black hole facts? There are baby black holes called primordial, and they're really tiny. They vary from the size of an atom to that of a mountain. There is a theory that galaxies get formed around black holes. This means that when a large star explodes, a black hole appears in its place, and then the rest of the galaxy just forms around it. There is a supermassive black hole right in the middle of the Milky Way galaxy. Its name is Sagittarius A star and it's 4 million times as heavy as the sun. And nope, we're not going to be pulled into this hole. It's more than 26,000 light-years away from Earth, and that's too far for this monster to have any influence on our planet. Besides Sagittarius A star, there are 100 million medium-sized black holes in our galaxy. And can you imagine how many black holes in total there are in all 100 billion galaxies that exist out there? Nah, you do the math. If you ever find yourself near a black hole, mm -hmm, be ready that time will slow down significantly. It may work for you if you aren't so eager to grow older. Just don't let yourself be tugged into the event horizon. Whoops! Bye-bye. Black holes aren't some hungry predators that roam the universe preying on poor, unsuspecting planets. They just gulp down the stuff that ends up too close to them. On top of that, they sometimes fling out spitballs the size of a planet. How does this matter escape the pull of black holes? Well, typically, it manages to slip away before going past the point of no return. In fact, with Sagittarius A star, we should be worried not about its gravitational pull, but about the very spitballs. After all, the monster black hole hurls them in the direction of Earth at a speed of 20 million miles per hour. What if, one day, one of them reaches our planet? If you managed to squeeze Earth to the size of a cherry tomato, it would turn into a black hole. In fact, you could also become one if you agreed to be scaled down to an atom. South African astronomers have recently come across another head-scratching black hole mystery. In a region of distant space, they noticed that several black holes located in different galaxies aligned in the same direction. It looks as if their gas emissions have been synchronized by design. Nowadays, scientists can't explain why and how black holes, which are about 300 million light-years away from one another, can be acting in unison. It's a puzzlement. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.